My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as Catholics, we are called to be faithful servants, to be strong and of good courage. We are not to be afraid or dismayed, but to pray and actively follow our Lord. Our faith demands a lot from us, but in turn, it allows us to live beautiful lives in harmony with the will of God. One of the foundations of this faith is participation in each form of prayer, adoration, contrition, petition, and thanksgiving. I want to speak to the latter form because thanksgiving is the expression of gratitude, especially our gratitude to God. We give thanks and glory to Him for the many blessings in our lives and especially for the greatest gift we receive, salvation through the passion and death of Christ Jesus, celebrated in the Eucharist, the very word meaning thanksgiving. It can be hard to see hope amid the chaos in this world. In fact, we frequently forget to offer our thanks, instead allowing ourselves to become numbed by toxic culture, news, division in the church, or sadly, division in our own families. It often feels that physically, emotionally, and spiritually, we are drowning under the weight of it all. But we cannot allow ourselves to be inundated by human sin. We Christians are called to be saints, to live extraordinary lives and honor our God. And there are no greater examples of this than the heroes of our faith. This month, we celebrate the many Vietnamese martyrs who were persecuted because they would not renounce their belief in Christ Jesus. We also celebrate black Catholics whose persistence, tenacity, and faith have endured through every obstacle. We also give thanks for those who have, through the most difficult moments, turned or returned to the Catholic Church as a beacon of hope. We offer thanksgiving for all these witnesses, and we remember foremost that all good flows from God, the Father, the Creator. As we approach Thanksgiving Day, let us see beyond the difficulties of our personal lives or the world. Let us see the goodness and the wonders offered by the Lord, and in turn, give Him thanks. May God bless you, your families, and all those who will join you for this great holiday and a happy Thanksgiving.